Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss degree third sem English. There are three units in degree third sem, and three units have vocabulary items and grammar items. Under vocabulary items, we have synonyms and antonyms, British and American English, and idioms. And under grammar, we have prepositions, voice that is active and passive voice, and then connectives. So to begin with unit two, we have uh, British and American English under vocabulary and uh, voice under grammar. So British and American English differ in spelling, pronunciation, vocabulary, and grammar. You can see the examples over there, uh, and this is the example for spelling. How the spelling differs: C O L O U R and C O L O R. This is British and this is American. and pronunciation usually the r in the ending position is not pronounced in british english they say car and whereas in american english the r is pronounced with a rolling effect car then and the vocabulary also differ british they call as sofa and this is an example in american english they call it as couch and grammatical differences are also there like i talked to jane in british english i talked with jane in american english monday to sunday in british english and monday through sunday in american english at the weekend and on the weekend i haven't seen her for three weeks i haven't seen her in weeks so these are some of the differences we come so beginning with the exercise 1 uh, it says uh, replace the american english word in italics with a british english word so the words which are given in italics are all in american english and we have to change them into british english so the first one where did you buy the drapes and the drapes are called as curtain in british english the elevator is out of order please use the stairs and the elevator is called as lift in british english third one i would like to buy a new purse and purse is called as wallet have you been to rashi's new apartment yet it's huge and beautiful apartment is called as flat in british english fifth one i have fever please bring me some medicines from the drug store and the drug store is called as pharmacy in british english on my way to the city i shall stop by to fill my car with gas and gas is called as petrol in english uh, british english please clear the baggage from the aisle baggage is called as luggage in british english i am planning to go on a tour after my second semester and semester is called as term the buses are off the roads let's get back home by a cab cab is called as taxi in british english and the last one look at my closet it is full of new dresses and closet is called as cupboard in british english now the next exercise replace the british english word in italics with an american english word now all the italics are given in british english and now we have to change it into american english word yesterday i drove to the city in my car i stopped in front of a cash point and cash point is called as atm automatic teller machine in uh, american english and then a young boy told me to take a left turn at the crossroads and ask again crossroads is called as intersection in american english and ask again at the petrol station and the petrol station is called as gas station there a man told me to take the first exit after the flyover and the flyover is called as overpass on the way i saw lorries carrying goods and lorries are called as trucks after i had crossed a huge flat flat is called as an apartment i parked my car and walked to the stadium to watch a football match and football is called as soccer in american english next exercise fill in the blanks with the appropriate words in london you buy biscuits at the confectioners in the us you buy in the us you buy cookies in the us you take a cab in the uk you take a taxi in the uk you wear trousers in the us you wear pants in the us you plan to go on a vacation 
in the UK you go on holiday. You wait in a queue to board a bus in the UK. In the US you wait in a line. In the US a period is put at the end of every sentence. In the UK a full stop is put. In the UK that is British English you click your photo and in the US that is an American English you take your picture. In the US you talk on a cell phone. In the UK you talk on a mobile phone. In the UK school's timetable is displayed on the notice board and in the US a schedule is displayed. Where, when there is a blackout in the UK you light a torch. In the US you use a flashlight. Next exercise. Using the italicized words as clues identify whether the following sentences are in British English or American English. Give the alternative words. So you have to first identify which English word is that and then you have to give an alternative. Like example, have you seen the latest model of the truck? So uh, in American English, truck is used and uh, in while lorry is used in British English. So you, this way you have to identify. Have you seen the movie? that released yesterday. So movie is in American English and its alternative film is in British English. I have applied for my driving license. So driving license is in British English and it is called as transporting license in American English. Third, please submit your resume by tomorrow. So resume is British English and curriculum vitae is a American alternative. I left my room key at the reception. Reception is called as front office in American English. Fifth one, I displayed the poster on the notice board. Notice board is called as bulletin board in American English. The janitor opened the rooms when we arrived. Janitor is called as caretaker in British English. His car bonnet was badly damaged in the accident and bonnet is called as hood in American English. The parking lot was full. Parking lot is called as car park in British English. He asked me to call him tomorrow. Call is, uh, the alternative for call is telephone in American English. And the last one, I am very fond of my motorcycle. Motorbike is the alternative in American English. Now next item is voice. That is active or passive voice. It shows the relationships between the subject and the verb. So active voice is used when the subject is the doer of the action. Example, Americans prefer toasted English. Whereas passive voice is used when the subject is the receiver of the action. Example, toasted English is preferred by Americans. Hope you all have noticed the difference. Toasted, uh, prefer has changed into is preferred by. This is the major change you have to bear in the mind when you are changing the voices from active to passive or vice versa. Now the first exercise, rewrite the following sentences changing the noun forms to verb forms. Example, the participants could not arrive at a conclusion on anything. So here the conclusion is the noun form and uh, the change version is the participants could not conclude anything. So conclusion has become conclude. This is a, a kind of warm-up exercise before you do the main exercises in the voice conversion. The first one, they only make a translation of previous studies. So they only translated the previous studies. So translation has become translated here. Second one, we held a discussion on an important topic. We discussed an important topic. They could not reach on an agreement on any issue. So that has changed so they could not agree on any issue. We put forth a proposal for an alternative plan. So proposal is the noun form. Let's see how it has changed. We proposed an alternative plan. The police conducted an investigation into the matter. An investigation has changed into investigated. The police investigated into the matter. Sixth one, buyer should make a comparison between competing products. So buyers should compare between competing products. 
researchers were asked to make an analysis of the results an analysis has changed to researchers were asked to analyze the results the members raised an objection to the new proposal so objection has changed to the members objected to the new proposal the company made a decision to expand its reach so the company decided to expand its reach we did not get a chance to give an explanation we did not get a chance to explain so this is how you are going to change the noun forms to verb forms okay the next exercise convert the following sentences from the active voice into passive voice so all these sentences are in active voice you are going to change into passive voice hari ate six puris at dinner six puris were eaten by hari at dinner so ate is in past tense that's why they have be, it has changed to were eaten my friend has completed the work has completed is in present perfect and then it has changed to the work has been completed by my friend third one sunita changed the bed seat bed sheet third the bed sheet was changed by sunita so changed is in past tense that is why we have used was changed suppose if it is not in past tense it will not be changed into was changed uh, for example sunita changes the bed sheet had been given then it would have been changed to the bed sheet is changed by sunita so be aware with the tenses of the verbs fourth one sara ran the hurdle race in record time the hurdle race was run by sara in record time my mom painted the picture in one day the picture was painted by my mom in one day sixth the student wrote a brilliant review changes to a brilliant review was written by the student thousands of tourists view the taj mahal every year the taj mahal is viewed by thousands of tourists every year the indian team will play the game tomorrow will be changed to the game will be played by the indian team tomorrow the manager will give you your job your job will be given to you by the manager the landlord painted the house to let it out the house was painted by the landlord to let it out now next exercise convert the following sentences from the passive voice into the active voice now these are given in the passive voice and you are supposed to change it into active voice let us see a refresher course will be attended by the faculty every year change it into passive the faculty will attend a refresher course every year so will is in future so same tense we are going to use in the pass uh, active voice also i mean the passive voice an application for the new job was sent by her is in passive voice and its active voice is she sent her application for the new job a beautiful picture was painted by tony tony painted a beautiful picture that song has been sung really sweetly by the choir the choir has sung the song really sweetly by whom were you asked to write who asked you to write wildlife was destroyed by the forest fire the forest fire destroyed the wildlife money was donated by sam to the orphanage sam donated money to the orphanage eighth one for the college fest two skits will be performed by suma suma will perform two skits for the college fest the experiment was conducted by the science teacher the science teacher conducted the experiment all the arrangements will be made by the event manager the event manager will make all the arrangements so read the following passage written in the passive voice rewrite it using the active voice so when you read the passage you must be in a position to identify the verbs in passive voice for example here you can see them was experienced was caused was uprooted was flooded had been hit these are all are the verbs in passive voice so you have to rewrite them using the active voice so last year a cyclone was experienced by my family and me for the first time it was severe and caused much damage to our house 
The damage was caused by its strong gales of wind of 170 miles per hour along with heavy rains. The old banyan tree in our courtyard was uprooted and thrown across the roof of our house, creating a huge cave through which the rainwater poured in. Our drawing room was flooded with water which rose to a height of two feet. When we began to think that the storm was over, we heard a huge crash and peeped out of the window to see that our van had been hit by our neighbor's fallen neem tree, breaking the roof and smashing all the windows. Now let us see how we could rewrite this in the active voice. Last year, my family and I experienced, you remember was experience got changed to experience. A cyclone for the first time, its strong gales of wind of 170 miles per hour along with heavy rains caused, was caused, changed to caused, caused the damage. It was uprooted, changed to it uprooted the old banyan tree in our courtyard and threw across the roof of our house, creating a huge cage through which the rain water poured in. Water which rose to a height of two feet flooded, was flooded, got changed to flooded. Our drawing room with water. When we began to think that the storm was over, we heard a huge crash and we peeped out of the window to see that our neighbor's name tree had hit our van. van. Had been hit has got changed to had hit our van, breaking the roof and smashing all the windows. Only thing you have to bear in the mind, the meaning. The meaning should not be changed when you are changing it into uh, changing the voices. That care you have to take and bear it in the mind. So that was the uh, kind of revision or uh, kind of solving the exercises in unit 2 of degree 3rd SEM English. Under vocabulary we have discussed the British and American English and under grammar we have discussed voice. Hope you all have understood and if you really have any queries or any concerns or any doubts please do not hesitate to put them in the comment section. I will be there for you. And one more request, please do not forget to hit the like button because your hitting the like button has a great value. Uh, it will, the YouTube algorithm will identify the likes and then it will share to the students who are really in need. So that is why the request, I'm making the request to hit the like button. Do not forget to hit the like button. It's of a great help to other students. Thanks for watching and if uh, this tutorial had made sense, please uh, like, share and uh, do not forget to subscribe. That means a lot for me. Okay, bye-bye for now and uh, let's meet up in the next video. Bye, take care.